Hi. So today we are going to derive the formula to find the sum of first n natural numbers. So natural numbers are represented as capital N and they start from 1 and after that every next number is one more than the previous number. So it will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Right? So this is the set of natural numbers. So today what we are going to learn is how to find the sum of natural numbers. So if I have to find the sum of first six natural numbers, this will be the case, right? These will be the first six natural numbers, right? And if I want to add them, yes, since there are only six numbers, we can add them manually without using any formula. So it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and plus 6 21 right so the sum of first six natural numbers is 21 this was very easy because we had only six numbers and all of them were very small right what about if we have 100 numbers or 200 numbers so how to add them so to add them we have to have a formula so today we are going to derive that formula and that we are going to derive step by step so you understand the logic behind that formula and it will be easier for you to remember it. So let me remove all this addition work. If I remove this addition work and let me keep this sum at one place so that we can compare. I am keeping it only for comparing purpose, right? So to derive that formula, I am going to do one thing. So the first step I am going to do is I am going to group these numbers. So this is the first group. Then we have this as a second group and this as a third group. What I have done? I have grouped the first number with the last number of the series and the second number with the second last number of the series and third number with the third last number of the series. So what I get by doing this? If I add the numbers of each group, I'll get 1 plus 6 as 7. 2 plus 5 also gives us 7. And similarly, 3 plus 4 will also give us 7. Right? So now we have got three groups of the numbers where sum of each group is 7. And now the task of finding the sum of the series becomes very easy. Now we have three groups right and sum of each group is 7 so the total sum will be 7 multiplied by 3 that is 21 right see we have got 21 over here and earlier also we had got 21 right so this proves that this method works okay now let me generalize this method if I have a series from 1 till n we were supposed to find the sum of first n natural numbers. So the series will be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and here we will have n minus 2, n minus 1 and n. Like series will start from 1 and it will end something like this n minus 2, n minus 1 and then n. So again, if I group these numbers in a similar fashion, the first number with the last number and second number with the second last number and third number with the third last number, fourth number will get grouped with a number somewhere over here and the fifth will be grouped with its previous number, right? So how many groups will we have? Number of groups will be n by 2 right if this n is an even number and if this n is an odd number we are going to discuss it later in the same video so if n is an even number the we'll, number of groups will be n by 2 and the sum of each group will be n plus 1 isn't it right in this case also the group which I have linked in green color, this n minus 1 plus 2 will also give you n plus 1. Similarly, this group where I have grouped 3 with n minus 2, 
n minus 2 plus 3 will also give you n plus 1. Yeah, that is why we have grouped them because in each group we get the same sum, right? So what we have now, we have n by 2 groups where each group has sum as n plus 1, right? So what will be the total sum of the series? Total sum of the series will be n plus 1 multiplied by n by 2, right? n plus 1 is the sum of each group and we have total n by 2 groups. So this will be the formula to find the sum of first n natural numbers. So this is the formula to find the sum of first n natural numbers, right? And then we had a doubt when the number of terms is odd. So again we are going to take a small example. So let me let me write numbers from 1 to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have odd number of terms, right? And what we have to do next? Yes, we have to group the first number with the last number. Of course, we are following the same procedure. And then we have to group the second number with the second last number, right? And then we have this middle number left behind, right? What is the sum of these groups? 1 plus 5 is 6, 2 plus 4 is again 6, right? We have got two full groups where sum of each group is 6. And what is this? This is 3. 3 is nothing but 6 by 2. It is half the sum of the groups, right? So we have two full groups where the sum is equal to 6. The sum of two groups will be 2 multiplied by 6, that is 12. Right? And then we have one number. We have 3 which is left behind and this is what? This is actually the half of the sum of each group. Right? So how many groups we have now? We have two full groups and one half group. So to find the sum of the series we have to do this 12 plus 3. So the sum will be 15. Right? And what is our formula? Formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 where n plus 1 is the sum of each group and n is the number of terms, right? So in this case, we have number of terms as 5, right? So it will be 5 multiplied by 5 plus 1, which is 6 by 2. This is equal to 5, 6 or 30 by 2, which is equal to 15. So when we have odd number of terms, then also we are getting the same result. Right. The reason behind that is the term which is left behind is exactly the middle term of the series and the value of that term is exactly the half of the sum of the each group. So that is why it gets covered in n by 2.